This is a video that is disgusting, but amazing, but filled with amazing facts. Now, guys, since I have said that, please, I know this, but I have to warn you, but it's, it might be disgusting, okay? It might sound disgusting, but they're facts that you might not know about some things your body does, and it, those things are disgusting. So don't complain, okay? But just complain if something horrible you don't really like at all happens. Like, say I made an accident, like I fell out of the screen uh, and flung myself onto my face. You, you can tell me about that and me and my dad are going to fix it. Okay, uh, yeah. And any other problems? If there is, you can warning about it, me about it, but don't uh, talk about something awful anyway. So let's just get into it. Look, let me just tell you something. I would be very happy if you just click the like and subscribe button right now, okay? And now let's begin. So as you can see, the first disgusting thing that our body does is we fart. Let me give a demonstrate. Look, farts don't always sound like that. They sometimes sound very quiet. But anyway, let's, uh, let me tell you about it. Look, it's disgusting, of course. I, I know you feel like you're gonna quit right now. No, 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 stay on, okay? Stay on until you know some of the facts. This is why we fart. Look, don't, you know we go to the toilet, right? What do we do? We don't go and play with and read books. We don't pet our cats. No, we go and poop. And we go and pee, right? Well, when you go pooping, before you even do that, you always sometimes hear your fart. Or you feel your fart like this. Oh, I'm farting. Like that. And then that means that your stinky gas from your poop is coming out. Gas that like things on the poop that we can't, that our body can't digest, so we poop it out, this is nonsense, don't need it, I don't think I can eat it. So they just poop it out. But before they even do it, that the smelly gas is in your butt. So sometimes the smelly gas, uh, your body poops it out, uh, blows all the stick stinky gas out and then your poop starts to slide downwards a bit and then you can go to the toilet and when you and then you can and then you and then you can use all your might and yes it will come out okay yes but don't always depend that your body can get it out because sometimes it cannot anyway yeah that's why we are far because if the smelly gas comes out and it's easier for you to poop. Uh, though you have to depend on if the poop is hard or if it's soft. That way it will make it easier. Okay. Mm, yes. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about peeing. I mean, no. I mean, sneezing. Look, peeing and sneezing rhyme, don't they? Anyway, sneezing is like this. Okay, it's just like that. Hold on. So, you might be wondering, why are you even talking about this? I am not interested. And why do, why do we even sneeze? I don't like the sound of it. I don't like sneezing. Well, let me tell you why we sneeze. It's because, look, Sometimes we sneeze because there's too much dust. Ah, uh, uh, that's not not a reason because there's lots of dust because they keep on raining down in the sky. But mm, let's just say I have a 100 pile of dust. I'll sneeze, of course, because there's too many and it's filthy. And the next reason, second, the second reason is because there's germs. Get out! Get out! Look. If you don't sneeze and the germs go, like, this is why we sneeze. When the germs get into our noses, 
our brain automatically detects this. The, the nose automatically sends, it, just sends something to the brain and the brain understands it. So, so all the muscles stop when you sneeze and all focus onto the nose. So you sneeze, achoo! You don't, you can't, you can't talk when you're sneezing. Achoo, hello every, you can't talk when you're sneezing. Because you because all the muscles are all focused onto the, the nose and the germs in it. So then, boom, it'll be like 100, or it will be like 100%. So the germ, so it can be like, I'm standing right here and it flies all the way to the door over there. I know, it's a long feat. I'll have to take a long time to get over there. So yeah, it's like, ah, choo, you sneeze at someone. Okay, like you try to sneeze at the ceiling. Ah, choo, it would automatically bang onto the ceiling. If you try to sneeze through the living room, like mine, ah, choo, it will smack the front porch door. Yes, so that, so yes, sneezes can last, uh, can fly very, very long distances. So if there's 100 people over there, for instance, don't sneeze over there. Sneeze somewhere where there's no people. Achoo, or sneeze like this. Achoo, one of the best facts. So that you'll not get them with the germs. And then boom, everyone gets them with the germs. Yeah, so yes, that is why we sneeze. Next, we're going to talk about something. And that something is why we feel full. When we eat, you know, you, when after you feel you eat, you feel full, right? Yes, yes, but you don't know why. You're all saying, well, look, you're full because your stomach is extending while you'll eat, right? You eat, okay, you, let's say you ate, uh, how about 20 pizzas, for some reason. Uh, one pizza, each crumb, okay, I mean like each little slice of pizza that our teeth grind into pieces, goes into our stomach, and when more comes in, the stomach has to extend bigger to, to, to fit them in. That's how we feel full. And after we, after it extends a little, you feel like you touch your tummy, and yes, it feels like a big lump right there. Like your tummy is big, right? And you're like, I think I'm full. You, you go. Well, it's because your stomach was extending when there was too many food in there, so it has to extend to fit them in. Yeah. And that is a very important thing of why. And of course, it doesn't always have to be food. It can be gases. Really? Before you burp, oh like a, there's gases in there. You know, it can also make you feel full. Oh, very full. Uh, especially when you drink milk. Yes. And next we're gonna talk about Hold on, guys. Ah. Okay. Uh, excuse me. That is me burping. Yes, that's what we're going to talk about next. It's burping. I'll be burp. Look, I know. I I know it's disrespectful to burp in front of the audience. I know. I know it. But I just had to do it because I can't just put a person burping up there because you can't hear him, right? So anyway, yes, 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 yes. So we're going to talk about burping. Look. You know, you're gonna be like, why do we burp? It's nonsense, we don't need to burp. We can sit here all day not burping. Why do we need to burp anyway in the first place? Well, let me tell you why. Well, let's just start right here. So, when we burp, it's really because, uh, at the, when I was talking about the stomach pot, uh, there's gases, right? Uh, yeah, that's another reason why you're full. But let me just tell you. So, the gas is in your, so if there, so like, if there's, Lots of gas in your stomach making you full. You know, you, um, sometimes you need to you need to get the gases out because how can we even digest gas? So yeah. So then 
not stinky, just good gas, okay? So, yes, and it might smell stinky. So, then, okay, then all the gases, then we send all the gases up here, and that happens. All the gases comes out, and it, make a, and it makes a sound, okay? Just like that, but there's no, okay? There's no sound like that, but it's just gonna make a, that sound, okay? Like that, okay? And it's really stinky. And it's not really stinky like your forts, because your forts is like this stinky. But your burp is like. Okay? It's like that, okay? So it's not really stinky. Except if you have bad breath. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. So. <laughs> burping. Now let's talk about. When you're a baby, you have to burp. My mom tells me about it. She's like, this is what it is. It's when, a ki a ki when, a when you're a baby, you need a burp. So your mom always has to pat you on the back like this. Hit your back, okay? No, now I know you're like, dude, my mom is so, dude, why do you say that? My mom isn't that rude. Okay, then I'm gonna tell my mom not to do it again. And I'll whack her in the face and I'm gonna say, don't do it again. Don't, don't, don't do that yet, okay? Don't do that if you're a kid, okay? But if you're a grown up, you will understand. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it, okay? Because we need, because the mothers are trying to make us burp when we're babies. And that's why they keep on hitting our, hitting our backs so that we can burp, okay? If we don't, you know what happened? My mom told me. If you don't, if the baby does not burp, it, and put and you put your baby on the bed, it's going to throw up all the food. Like that. And you have to clean up the bed. <laughs> what a rude baby. Okay? And that would not be fun. So this is why they always this is why your mother's always pat your back when you're a baby so then you can burp. So then you will not waste your food onto the floor and the bugs eat it and horrible things. Yes, and next we're gonna talk about what I just said. It's... It's bad breath. Look, you think bad breath? Is it because we just swallowed our poo? Wait, 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 what? Okay, okay, if, you, if you're grossed out and didn't think of that, don't worry, don't worry, you did not do that, okay? You did not do that because sometimes when you come out and after you eat your breath fix, you might have a horrible breath. Everyone's running away from you. It's stinky! It's stinky Joe, I better leave. It's a stinky Joe, I don't like his spirit. It's stinky. It smells like a pile of rotten ice cream and rotten pizzas and all that. Look, it's not your problem, okay? It's not your problem. It's just because, look, you might have ate a good breakfast, right? You might have ate such a good breakfast that you never noticed that some stinky, um, germy thing like things get in. Of course, our body is attacking the germs. Out, 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 but there's some type of thing that is it that can get stuck in our gums or like teeth or something where and they're stinky. So that when you after you eat your breath eggs sometimes, you go outside, you go to your friends and you talk to them, you're all the stinky things, all those stinky things in your mouth, they all blurt out. And everyone goes fainting. That might not happen, but everyone will be like, you! What, what did you eat this morning? Did you eat rotten hamburgers? Did you eat rotten pizzas with rotten uh, skunks in it? Or did you eat a pile of rotten mushrooms? Dude, I don't want to be your friend, okay? You're so stinky, I better leave. And, and then maybe a person might say, Dude, you're so stinky. Dude, I'm not going to make friends with a person who never brushes their teeth. I'm leaving. I quit. Okay, that might happen, okay? It's not your fault, it's just be It's just because your breath is so stinky. They don't like it. They're, they just don't like you. Just, just, they, just, they just don't even like the smell.
hell. It's horrible. It's, it, it, it's horrible. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to always go and brush our teeth and go to the dentist sometimes and help it. Of course. You, you know you don't like dentist. Of course you can, you know, fix all, all those stuff. You know, fix it so that you know, all those bad things, eh, no, they're not gonna bother you. And we might talk about something else too. But let's not, but let's not get out of the subject yet. Just yet. Uh, excuse me, I accidentally burped again. Okay, anyway, I have a bad habit of that sometimes. Anyway, let's not, let's not care about my burping. Well, I'm just saying, so you have to get, so you have to get all those dirty things, all those icky stuff, all those uh, icky things like uh, stinky cupcakes, all that out. Don't let them stay in there, okay? Or your um, life would be miserable. <laughs> Okay, so don't, so always don't, so always think, just, so always make sure there's no bad breath, okay? Uh, but don't worry, you, you can have it once or twice, but don't have it 1,000 years, okay? Because it's not good, I don't, I don't want to smell it. Mm, except if it's not horrible. Anyway, next, I think I want to talk about this. You. Look, I'm not saying you. I'm saying, look, do you see what I'm doing in the video? What do you see I'm doing? Take a guess. No, no, no. I'm not, I don't have bad breath. No, 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 I didn't. No, no, I cut my fingernails already. No, 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 no. What do you see me doing right now? Look, I'm not saying I'm acting like a weird person. Just look at my face. You can see right here at my eye. What do you see? If I blink, yes, you guessed it. Congratulations, it's blinking. You might, you might be like, what? Why do we blink? Well, if you have played the game staring contest, you would know it, it it's pain. If you do, this is what staring contest is. <laughs> oh, 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 it's pain. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Look, <laughs> we're blinking. It's because, there's, look, this whole world, okay? You think, where did the dust come from? It must have come from Mr. Joe's stinky shoes. No, you can't just guess it's a person's shoes. No, 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 no. It, it, it's from the sky. Look, I'm not saying it's from the sky. I'm saying, look, if you look around, you can't barely even see it, but in the sunlight, you can see little particles flying around. You know what it is? That is not a di That is not a fairy, okay? That is not a fairy. No, 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 that is not a zombie. No, 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 that is not a snake flying in the air. It's dust. Look, you don't know it, but this whole world is made of dust. It's not made of dust, but there's dust everywhere. In your house, um, on the ceiling of your house, everywhere, um, on a plane, uh, maybe, um, underground, yeah, maybe there's this. Maybe someone's buried down there and there's dust everywhere. Um, it can be uh, at your neighbor's house. There's, that. there's dust everywhere. So you can't possibly get rid of it. Okay, so when we blink, you never know, but our eyes are not doing the job, okay? It's our eyelids. Right down here, you can see. Right here, uh, see this piece of skin over here? Right here, over my eye right here? Well, that is our eyelid. We, the eyelids, they, we, it's like a, it's like a, a break. So like, we see something, okay? We, then our eyelids close, so then the dust gets cut, cut on top, so then they'll not enter our eyes, and that's a pain. So just blink, blink, so that no dust would ever get a chance to get in. But if you do the staring contest, it's not gonna blink. Then, boom!
boom! Oh, the ghost comes into your face and you're like, ah, pain! So don't do, so this is why we always blink. And please, I do not want you to try it. I do not want you to try staring on this. It's pain. So our blinking is very useful. We, and it, this is what it is. So we always blink every single time of day, like this. We don't stop, okay? We never stop like this. Look, we don't, we don't pause. Look, we just pause a little and close again, and then pause a little and close it again. Yes, yeah, 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 that's what we always do, right? Our eyes, they've got the business. They've got their business. And, yeah. And, I might talk about another. But if you don't want, but if you don't want to watch that other part, okay then. Then you can, then if you really just want to know all these first facts I told you, then you can know, stop watching this video and watch my other ones. Or if you want, you can stay here and listen to my other thing that I might be talking about right now. Okay, let's begin. It is, you might have experienced it when you're sad. What is it? <laughs> it's crying, right? Tears come out of, oh, come on to your face. Look, don't get sad about it, okay? Because it's okay don't do that it's, it's because you do it when you're sad now I'm going to tell you that it's that I've been doing some research and no one knows why we even cry in the first place why tears come out of our eyes some people protect this nonsense thing that the scientists already know it's not it's true it's not true it is we get too hot so we cry when we're sad so then all the tears come out and it makes us cooler now scientists test that test the temperature when the person was upset and what they're like no -uh, that's not true guy mister no 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 no, no. that is incorrect okay they found out that it is incorrect that it is a stupid oh idea it's so stupid you, 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 of course i'm not saying that person who said it is stupid i'm just saying it's not a good idea because because we already know we sweat look when we're crying it's not like we're sweating i'm going to combine my sweating to this part look you sweat you cool yourself down down right when it's too hot well when you cry why would you need to do that you've got your sweat all over the place you can sweat all you want why do you need to cry like it's not gonna work right so no one knows but i'm just gonna tell you one of the parts they don't know that somewhere around our eyes somewhere that provides the tears okay take a guess now you can't be guessing my whole body. You can't be guessing my mouth. You can't be guessing my nose. You have to. Of course, you can guess the nose. But you can't guess my hands. You can't guess everywhere. You have to guess somewhere about my eyes and my nose. So take a guess on some of the parts of my eye. Now, take a guess. No, there's not. No, 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 no. Of course, I already told you about blinking. No, 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 no that's not. It's not all, there's not only a blinking thing in our eyeball. No, no, there's something else too. No, 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 it's not shaped like an elephant. No, 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 it, no, 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 it's not our pupils. No, 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 okay, it's not our eyebrows, okay. If you really don't know, then say, David, I don't know. Okay, so you said it, so let me tell you what it is is somewhere about here on our eyes. Now, it's like something that provides our tears. Look, look, it does not provide it, but it provides water, liquid -y things that can be also our tears. Next, we've got other things. See, right here, and our noses. You never know it, but there are these, like, 
I think it's called duck like thing. I don't know what it is, but it's something that drains it, that drains it, drains it through our noses. So if you realize that when you're crying too much, like like 10 hours, which is not possible, um, um, you'll realize that uh, I think there might be something wet in your noses. Like boogers or something like that. Wet boogers and you pull it out. And you, you don't do that, right? That's because the water, the tears, is draining down here at the same time too. That means some go out while some go through and drain here. So then, you use a super towel. Okay. So, let me tell you. It's just... I get, as I told you, these parts, you never know it, but you always think, you might think, hmm, does that mean when we cry, um, these parts above our eyes that is providing tears would then start pushing tears out? Look, 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 that's the, look, you might think that, but you're getting way too far. You're getting to like robots do it. Look, look, they don't do it. They don't do it at that time. They do it every single time. When you're sleeping, I don't know why, but they always do it. When you're going to school, they're doing it. When you're dancing, they're doing it. You know what it is? They always wash water into our eyes and then keep them, you know, cool or like, we're like, to keep it from getting hot burns on their eyes, uh, like some old people might get, <laughs> like my mom and dad. Like they have dry eye, right? Well, that might be why we have those things always rush onto our eye. So that, we, so that our eyes would not get a lot of damage, like dry, like if it's too dry, oh, it's like a dry eye. It, it, yeah, it, it gives you pain. So our, parts so somewhere about our around our eyes and our noses they always push they always add water or like some type of liquid into onto our eyes to keep them more uh to keep them wet so then they'll not get too dry and so they get burned and pain and then ah like that so so they always do it uh, and you also cry and yes 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 those things are always on the move always doing they're always not stopping just it's just like oh, it's like you're knocking the door right you knock the door every single time when you go to your neighbor's house right well let's say you need to go to the neighbor's house 1,000 times a day you knock right you, you knock you knock a thousand times right that's just like our parts over here. They always wash, always add water-like things onto our eyes to keep them to keep them wet and don't let them get dry. Just keep on doing it. Don't stop. Don't stop. If we stop, our brain, our eyes are doomed. So they always do it. So let's say our eyelash eye in. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's still it's still washing. Just a little. Look. You can cry and you get it out, but I'm saying this. Let's. Why? You might not wonder why we just always, why these parts only push in a little when they can push in a lot. Well, if they push in too much, we can barely even see. And maybe, maybe they might all wash out of our eyes and cause a lot of trouble. Or maybe it might get into our eyes through people's get in my brain, maybe. We don't know, but yeah. So they always put in a little, just a little bit of water at a time to keep it moisture, to keep it wet a little, not too much. Too much, our eyes might hurt. So they're always gentle. So, yes, and that is it. And. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and and to remind you again, please subscribe and click the like button. And now, 
it's now you're free, so you can go and free and watch uh, all my other Lego videos or other Titanic videos or any video you want on my YouTube channel. Or have a fun time. Anyway, bye.